Although the first of the month has come and gone, many North Dakota renters are already concerned about making next month's rent. With an unprecedented level of unemployment in the state and no end in sight when it comes to the spread of COVID-19, people have been reaching out to KX News for answers. As Renee Cooper reports, nonprofits are hard at work to find solutions because having a home to shelter in is more important than ever. Richard LeMay, the executive director of nonprofit Legal Services of North Dakota, has been handling cases for tenants for 30 years. He says the coronavirus is causing unprecedented financial problems and the solution is unclear. There was an article, I think, in the Fargo Forum that, uh, you know, a, a, a a larger landlord was was finding fault with tenants for not, you know, saving some money. That's not very realistic. LeMay says for the average renter, saving up multiple months of rent just isn't an option. Most already live month to month. Landlords, tenants, right now they they got a real life problem, and and legally there's no defense to non-payment rent. He says the best action you can take first if you're concerned you won't make rent. Be up front with your landlord. Again, if the landlord has all the people that can't afford to pay uh, out of his apartment building, well, he might not have anybody there. And then, so how you gonna how you gonna pay your bill? LeMay says if you're told to get out, then a legal process can begin. But at the end of March, the state Supreme Court suspended all eviction hearings until further notice. Without a hearing, there can't be a formal eviction. Um, without a hearing, uh, there can't be a forcible removal of a tenant from property. As Chief Justice John Jensen explains, this does effectively halt evictions. But it doesn't necessarily stop eviction notices from going out or the pressure for tenants to pay up, including late fees, the moment the emergency suspension is lifted. First thing that needs to happen is to prevent people from being out on the street. And that makes sense, not just from a financial perspective, from a compassion perspective. It makes sense in terms of trying to manage this crisis. Mark Heinert is the chair of the Missouri Valley Coalition for the Homeless. He says the nonprofit is working with local and state leaders to create housing options for desperate situations, including an overflow shelter now that the United Way shelter is not able to take in anyone new. Some organizations that have that ability to help but might not have a lot of funds right now are, are places like the Salvation Army, Community Action Organizations, Aid Incorporated. Heinert stresses that many of our local nonprofits are stretched thin right now. I think everybody just needs to hang tight and count on the fact that these stimulus checks are supposedly in the mail and hopefully we never do see anything like this again. Reporting for KX News in Bismarck, Renee Cooper. LeMay says if you're worried about upcoming bills, when you get that stimulus check in the mail, prioritize your rent first. He says it's much better to let any other payment lapse before your rent because, again, that shelter is more important than ever. And if you have questions, he says you can call Legal Services, and we have a link to that over on kxnet.com.